All right, folks, I figured I'd start this 2K video off a little bit different, man. You know, like to uh, give y'all a little In bit more meat, because that's what everybody wants. Turn right. Wait, what? What? Man, this fuck nigga sent me to the fucking hood again! Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel, coming to you live with yet more bums in the park, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Hey, the gameplay ain't even important, man. Let me just tell y'all what happened today, man. Y'all already saw the little intro or whatever, man. So I had to go do one of my IT missions. You know, I call them IT missions, but you know, they just out there. I just go out there. I go around to apartment complexes and I fix their, um, fix routers, I fix computers, I fix anything IT related that they fix. You know, that's my job, it's just to get that up out the way. So, uh, as y'all can see, this morning they sent me to the hood. Well, I'm telling y'all that this motherfucker sent me to the hood, dog. I'm not lying, you see the police station right the fuck there. You see what kind of area it is. I thought it was the hood, but it wasn't too bad, man. It was actually, I, I went a few more hundred feet. Uh, the, the turn that I thought that they were gonna send me on was not actually right there. So uh, what I ended up having to do, I had to go on around the corner and then it was a nicer apartment complex or whatever. All right, well, it ain't that bad, man. This is where I'm actually going to, so. So I uh, ended up going over there. It was the whatever, man. But when I got there, man, you would never guess what I, what I saw. They were like, one of their routers was out, right? So I go in the back room, check out the router, and the damn router is hanging from the wall, dog. Like, no bullshit is hanging from the wall by the router wires. Like, it's not attached to anything. They got a board back there, but it wasn't attached to anything. I'm not even joking with you guys. I'm not even joking with you guys. But anyway, like I was saying, though, um, so what I did was I came in, brought my own router in, and uh, when I brought my own router in, I, I ended up having to hang that bitch from the wall the same exact way. So when I got finished, it was looking just like the uh, Apple Airport that they had, you know, when when I got there. It's really the only thing that matters. And then they wonder, they're sitting there wondering why the shit ain't working. The shit might not be working because it's not installed in the way that it's, that it's supposed to be installed. But you know, it is what it is, man. So I come on in, bring my new router in. And, uh, you know, I get up in there and it's not pulling the IP address. So I'm like, what the fuck, man? I can't get this thing to work. It ain't pulling the right IP address. Whatever. Let me go ahead and I'm going to reboot the, um, I'll reboot the switch. I'm going to reboot the switch. Boom. Boom. And hopefully we're good to go. That's got to be it, right? Go in there and reboot the switch. And uh, after I get finished rebooting the switch, man, I'm like, yo, it's still not working. And then I remember that the router that I had was at a previous site. And I had, it, uh, I had it set up as an access point or whatever, man. So I'm just like, yo, I'll go and uh, I'm going to reset the damn thing. But when I try to reset the thing, guess what they gave me? So I'm supposed to reboot the router with this. Uh, I'm supposed to factory reset the router with this pin. But uh, don't like this going to happen. I mean, I'm like, are you fucking serious? This is a, a pin. I can't even stick the pin in the router, it's broken. So you know what I had to do, man? I had to go get the IT man's best friend when you need to reset a router, man. And uh, y'all already know what it is. When nothing else would do to reset a router, good old paper clip. I mean, look, man, that gym clip has saved my ass so many times that uh, that, that it's insane. And, my, and my, I'm pretty sure Bridget about to come up in here and tell, tell the same thing, man. But uh. But you know what, that gym clip, y'all think all these pins and, and all the stuff that they tell you you're supposed to use, use the gym clip if you need to reset a router, man. That bitch reset it instantly, right, babe? Gym clip works all the time. All the damn time. Or if you got earrings on, like when she got the ones with the long hook, that'll work as well. Or a thumbtack. A thumbtack will work too, yep. thumbtack. Use but, uh, the Yeah, I use that too. But anyway, so I get up in there, reset the router, and once I reset it, everything was good to go, right? So we we on, and um, I get them on. I had to switch static IP addresses in there. All that good stuff, everything was good, everything lovely, everything going exactly according to plan. And then I got to go up in there, and I have to set up a printer, right? So I'm like, okay, well, it's cool. You know, I'm gonna set the printer up. I'll come in, set up the printer, and then I'll be up out of there. I set the printer up, and when I get on the printer, man, you'll never guess what the what uh one of the Wi-Fi networks was, man. That shit had me crying. Normally I wouldn't even do this, but look at what this thing is named, man. Pretty fly for a Wi-Fi. I can't lie, it's pretty good. I mean, look. Who 
can make this shit up? That's why I just recorded it. I was like, who can make this shit up, dog? So anyway, you know, it's the same thing, man. You know, I'm, I'm carrying in real life because that's what the fuck I do. I carry in real life. So, um, I, you know, I come out there, you know, gotta, you got to print that test page, right? Up the test page printing and I'm out. And I didn't even have to pull my laptop out the bag. Another successful mission. And then when the test page came out, man, you know what? I was like, I ain't want nobody to be thinking that, you know, that I doubted myself. So you already know what your boy had to do. You can't have nobody thinking I doubted myself. Got to shred the evidence. And so, you know, once I did that, man, I was good to go, man. I mean, it's a lot easier to carry in real life than it is to carry these fucking bombs right here on the game. Like, dog, I don't understand. Why the fuck would you go in there and get your shit beat like that? And then come down and play absolutely no fucking defense. Like, I don't understand what goes through people's mind when I do IT. Just like I don't understand what goes through people's heads when I play this game, dog. Like, people are just the dumbest. Right? Like, what the fuck was that? And he hit that bullshit. I don't get it. But you know what? To this point right now, I got I was trying, I was chasing that five, 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 five fell road, man. But I couldn't, they wouldn't give me the ball anymore. I took one shot this whole game. Five points, seven assists. I mean five rebounds, seven assists, and all that. And playing all the fucking defense. We was winning the game and they just letting that dudes come down and just do it. Like I said, man, you know it is what it is. You can't always carry in every facet of everything. But hey. Y'all don't want to see me win anyway. What the fuck are you doing taking this dumb ass shot, you dumb? Anyway, like I said, man, can't carry in every facet of everything, man. So, you know, I mean, some kind of how we score. And, I mean, I, I, all I can do is do the best that I can do. And, and whatever come out the other end, it's just what come out the other end, dog. But, like, these dudes, like, look, I can't make you play defense. Just like Ralph said, you can't. Pay a nigga to play defense on this game. You can't beg him to play defense. You can't drop down to your knees and get your eagle on and plead with these fuck niggas to play defense, dog. They just won't do it. I don't know why. Did somebody tell you if you play defense, then they go, and then you can't stay. They won't take good shots. And then he get another chance at the shit, and he probably gonna take another dumbass shot or whatever, man. Look, I'm down here. I'm gonna pass to the open, man. I could have gone up with that. What are you doing? Pass the ball. Pass the ball, big fella. Stop, stop spamming Crawford, spamming Crawford. Pass, pass the ball, big fella. Kick it to the corner, right? This motherfucker go out of bounds. So like I said, man, sometimes people don't want to be carried. But fortunately, in real life, I got the uh, I got the ability to carry people, man. He played one 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 set of fucking defense, dog. And then, you know, I come down and then, hey, it is what it is, man. And he takes that shot. I wonder why he was taking them dumb ass shots. But at, the, but at the end of the game, you see those people on the sideline? That's who the fuck he was waiting on, dog. So... Drexler got unblockable frames. You're not blocking that shit. And you know it just is what it is, man. But like I said, I just tried to do something a little bit unique right here, man. I figured I would, uh, I figured I'd just try to spice it up a little bit because, you know, everybody keeps saying 2K dead. But to me, I mean, if you enjoy the game, you enjoy the game. There ain't no more news coming out. There ain't no shit like that. Ain't no motherfucker. Get that shit out of here, bitch. It ain't no uh, motherfucking defense being played or no shit like that. But, uh, hey, you know. I mean, it's still a cool game to me. And we only got a couple of weeks going to it, man. So, you know, I'm just going to try to spice Get that bullshit out of here, fuck nigga. I'm going to try to just spice it up as much as I can. Keep bringing you guys good content. And hopefully, you know, it won't be all L's. But tell the truth, man. If y'all, if you like me taking L's down in the comments, just let me know, man. Because that's what y'all like, man. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Speaking of taking L's. Bridget and I have a reaction channel, so check that out. That, that link is down in the comments. We're going to be spamming videos like a motherfucker over there just reacting to shit. If you like me and Bridget together, then, you know, go check that out. But I'm out of here, man. And uh, these motherfuckers is straight garbage. I'm not going to let it out. But this motherfucker didn't play no defense. How the fuck you go four for eight and three for eight, and you won't pass the ball to the man that go one for one? And then your dude put up 13 fucking points. We will never win with that fucking ratio. But like I said... His dude was on the sideline, and he joined the team that was next, man. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. And I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace. So, another successful IT mission mission uh, solved. Um, but, I mean, what you expect on the best, man? Hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. If y'all did, you know, let me know. If not, if it was lame as hell, let me know that too, man, down in the comments. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Holla! 360 out this motherfucker. That was so fucking epic. <laughs>